Hello everyone, my name is Ronak Desai. I am Cloud Solution Engineer here at Oracle and today I will be showing you how you can move your data from PostgreSQL to Autonomous Data Warehouse. So uh, this is Oracle Cloud. I have installed a PostgreSQL on top of Linux machine in Oracle Compute and I have created all those resources in this single compartment called Ronnie. So you can you can efficiently manage all of your resources from this compartment. So this is where I have installed PostgreSQL. It is installed on Linux machine. It is using Linux 7.6, and this is my IP address. This is my public IP. So to install PostgreSQL on Linux, these are the steps which I have followed, and this is and this is the command you would use actually to start your database service so as you can see this is the address where PostgreSQL is up and running right now and once once you have PostgreSQL up and running your step two would be to have Oracle Data Integrator up and running so for Oracle Data Integrator you would need uh, database so let us see how you can go ahead and create a database so on Oracle Cloud when once you click this hamburger menu different options would pop up you can select uh, database service and as you can see I already have database up and running it is version 18.6 and this is its IP address so once you have this database up and running you would actually need policies that would that would expose this database to other cloud services within Oracle for example Java cloud services need to detect this database so these are the policies which I have written in order for Java cloud service to use our database so let's go to identity policies and as I mentioned before everything has been created in Ronnie compartment so these are the policies As you can see uh, these are these are essentially policies which would expose your database uh, to other cloud services within Oracle once you have mentioned this policy you can go ahead and create your uh, Java cloud service as you can see ODI this is our Oracle Java cloud service and I have ODI CS KCS up and running and this is my IP address and make sure to select your middleware as ODI so once this is up and running you can you can install ODI studio on this machine and a third thing which we would need is our autonomous data warehouse it's the place where we would be moving our data it is fairly simple to create a data warehouse uh, just click on to left hamburger menu under database you can see autonomous data warehouse and make sure you select your compartment give your display name and other required details and your database would be up and running so as and once your database is up and running you would need to download your client credentials your wallet which we would use to connect it with SQL developer so these are first three steps in order to move your data from Postgres SQL to autonomous data warehouse using ODI CS you need to have Postgres up and running you need to have your ODI CS up and running and you need to have your autonomous data warehouse up and running go to your GCS machine that is we need to tunnel in to our GCS machine so this is command and we would be using our local port 5901 to uh, connect it to our VNC viewer so right now I am done so I have I am in my system this is uh, my IP address of GCS and let's go to VNC viewer and then we are using uh, 5901 so once we go to 5901 so basically this is the path where I have installed ODI studio on our GCS machine we have SSH into our GCS machine we have created this tunnel and this is where my ODI 
studio is installed um, oracle data integrator studio is installed so let me launch my studio and it takes couple of minutes to launch our studio and we'll be getting into more details once uh, studio is up and running so as you can see this is odi oracle data integrator studio 12c so let's connect with our work repository odi is creating connection to our work repository it usually takes a couple of minutes so uh, when you initially install ODI studio it would ask you for username password and you can you can basically give a password for supervisor and things like that so uh, once once this ODI studio is launched there are a couple of things uh, which I would like you to know so we have something called topology uh, it, it is a used to connect to different systems so uh, ODI CS is a heterogeneous system it can move data from different sources to different targets so these are number of technologies which which ODI CS supports right now so today we'll be dealing with uh, ADW that is Oracle and PostgreSQL so let's let's focus on those and so as you can see we uh, i have created connections to both of these database and these are jdbc connections so let us see if our connection is successful um, so this is my jdbc connection and this url could be found in our wallet uh, wallet for adw let us test our connection change location okay and connection was successful with adw and okay so let us say if it is successful for postgres this is jd also we need to install jdb onto our postgres uh, compute so uh, on the compute where we have installed postgres sql we need to install jdbc driver as well so connections and connection was successful either so uh, postgres sql does not essentially come with jdbc jdbc is oracle technology but you can install uh, jdbc drivers onto postgres so as you could see connection was successful over here and let me go back to postgres sql so what i have done here is i uh, I have created this table called link and inserted this five website on top of it uh, as tables and uh, with ODICS I'll be moving this data from Postgres SQL to autonomous data warehouse let us see if SQL developer is up and running all right so SQL developer is up and running let me run this query and so as you can see right now we do not have anything in our adw and we'll be moving data from postgres sql to adw using odscs and this is the data so we have this postgres sql database installed on oracle compute these are the two tables okay so let's go to our vnc viewer where we have odi studio up and running and these are these are connections we have established with um, ADW and Postgres SQL. So let's go to designer. This is where and and then we have created models over here and ba basically just to create any mapping or just to view data you can actually use this model and you can see how everything is linked out. And as you can see this attributes and what is the description of table which you are trying to deal with so let's go to development and then in from process so basically i have created mappings over here and you can just this you can just click on new mapping if you wish to create new mapping you can name my map my map once this is my map you can simply this is how you can drag and drop you can drag and drop you can drag and drop your tables and then these are other logical expressions if you want to filter something you can filter out your data you can aggregate your data you can apply join but 
for now we'll just connect these two tables okay and it is asking like match option let us try to match by name and once we have made this connection we'll try to see if it is successful and it says it is successful so so basically it is trying to validate all the columns which we have in our adw can be linked back to postgres and vice versa in this case we are trying so we we have successfully linked tables from postgres to adwc but we we can create we can create other mappings so no it's okay so let us see open do do you want to log this object so basically when you are trying to work with tables and everything you can lock you can lock your table so that no one can modify unless uh, until you unless and until you have done with your work and you have moved data now so in this case we want to log this object uh, in this case i'll just select no i don't want to really log those objects and as you can see i have created a couple of mappings first is link from um, postgres sql to adwc and i have also created one for account but today i'll be i'll show you about a link i'll show you table link so as you can see it was successful and then once it is successful we need to run this mapping it takes it, it depends on how big is your data so right now it it will pop up message saying session has started so you so basically you can go to operator to see uh, so operator is basically our tracking device all our schedule schedule services which are running schedule jobs which are running you can monitor from here and looks like uh, this job failed so let me check why let us see running this would make it successful this session is started okay let's go to operator it's running so this is where you can see status so as you can see running status has been completed to done and it shows like it was able to move data in two seconds so let's go to so like I have already run this query and before this we didn't had this data but now we have successfully moved our data from PostgreSQL to autonomous data warehouse you can see this is data which we had over here and then after running this job after running this mapping we have successfully imported data in our ADW and this is a connection which I created so you just need to give connection name whatever you want like my connection your username would be admin and password which you specified and you would you would uh, use that wallet file to connect with your uh, uh, to connect with your autonomous data warehouse and then you need to test connection and once connection is successful you can work with ADW thank you